Hello guys, so today we will start making the long awaited head turn to finish our uh, glorious body rig So today we are with this model, it is already rigged If you follow the series, you already know how to rig a model like this I just removed the legs and the hands and even the mouth rig because it's not our subject today Let's go to pose mode and see what this rig can do The head can rotate, it can even flip with RZ 180 degrees We have the spine that can do this and uh, we have a rig for the pupils of the eye so that they can move we have some lids and we have a rig for the brows too that can go down and up and can rotate like this too um, so i guess this is it for the head and today we will make this rig even better so first we delete this rigify rig and uh, let's delete this collection Let's enable it, let's select all the contents, delete in the keyboard, delete the collection, delete the rig and we will start using our basic meta rig. So this is the rig that we will improve to create the head turn. Let's go first to the model and see that we already have some vertex groups here. Let's go to weight paint mode. So most of the stuff here is weight painted. Also, if you follow the series, you are familiar with this type of weight painting. So today we will edit this weight painting to suit our new modifications. So if you follow the series, you already have a rig like this, you already have weight painting like this and groups like these. If you don't, this model is available for free, you can download it and start from there following the steps. So back to object mode, let's choose our meta rig and let's go to edit mode by hitting tab in the keyboard. Let's hide this ear so it doesn't get in the way and down select this bone and duplicate it, shift T to here. Nice, let's rename it face. And now we will start to add the face structure that will deform the lower part of our head. So select this ball, G, put it here. Make sure that the ball always crosses the stroke. Like this. Hit E to extrude. Again the ball crosses the stroke. And then E again. And then E again. And finally E again and add a final bone here that will act as an anchor to these four bones this will be our deformed bones and now we'll add some control bones for these guys to be able to control the shape of the face okay so again we duplicate this guy this time we will name it face control dot ctrl and we will uh, move this ball first let's enable snapping and choose here vertex make sure that your cursor is close to the ball and move it to snap it here if your cursor is far from the ball it won't snap that's something very frustrating when you don't know why it happens so we duplicate this guy here we select the ball we snap it here and i want this ball and this ball to be on the same axis on the z thingy let's move it here and hit n and uh, the head is the base of the bone and the tail is <laughs> is this guy here <laughs> So yes, the X we want the same to be on the same Z axis, the X will be the same. So we copy this, Control C to here, Control V. Now the bone rotated for some reason. This can be fixed with the roll by changing the roll <laughs> like this. And I noticed that the perfect roll is 180 degrees. So instead of having this, egg, let's just type in 180 degrees and have it like this and then we duplicate this guy again so shift t we snap the ball here it won't snap you see because my cursor is far from the ball so here it snaps voila we have our control bones let's unhide our ear and now we want something to be able to move all these bones at once the brows the lids the pupils and the mouth okay so we will add a new bone here you see that the snapping is still here let's disable the snapping let's make this bone bigger so g z like this so most of the head currently is moved by this bone but now with the head turn we want the cheeks and the eyes and the ears to move and the nose to to move independently from the face that's why we want another bone to move those guys and this will be it so this bone will control all these bones inside the head and also we control some of the strokes and that will be done later with weight painting so what we do we rename this guy say which of the head parts it will control so it will control the left ear 
L dot ear and then dot it will control the cheeks, the eyes and also the hair. We could add the nose too, but we will have a separate bone for the nose. If you want to have a simpler leak, you want to make this guy control the nose too. But we will add a separate bone for the nose. And the reason is that we want the nose to move in the face faster than the others. If you are familiar with head movement, if you look from the right to the left, when you go from the right to the center, the nose moves from being near to the right to the center of the face. It means that it will move faster than the eyes and the cheeks and the other parts of the face. It won't be very noticeable but it makes the animation a little bit nicer. So we name this nose and then we duplicate it again to have a bone for the right ear. The right ear also will have a very different movement while all the parts of the face will move to the left, the left of the boy, this ear will move to the right. So while the guy is looking right, this ear is almost hidden. But when he is turning to the left, it will start to appear and appear like, like a sunrise. That's why we need a separate bone for the ear. So ear R for right ear. So we'll parent all these bones, the brows bones, the lids bones, the this guy that controls these two pupils, the mouth too, we could parent the mouth too, to this guy. Okay, so we select it last and then we hit Ctrl P, parent but keep offset. And now we want a bone that will be able to move all these bones, these control bones, the mouth, the nose and the ears. So we create another bone, we select this guy and we duplicate it, Shift T, we put it here, we select this ball, G, Z to make it a little bigger and we name this guy Head Turn Control. The left ear cheeks eyes hair bone will be parented to this guy and also we will parent the nose so select this guy shift select this and these two bones we will parent them to this guy Control p parent but keep offset we didn't parent this guy because we want to um, move it using a constraint and not the parent so we will do that later also this guy is parented to the head bone and we will also move it using a constraint now i think we need only one more bone that we will use later and it is maybe the most important bone here so shift t we add a bone here let's rename this bone to head turn driver we will add a driver to this bone later and this bone will need no parenting so we will hit alt p clear parent okay let's go to pause mode and try to see how our bones are behaving if we rotate the head bone you see that all the bones rotate with it so this is fine Except this one because it's not parented. If you move this guy, you will move all these bones. Very nice. And if you move this guy, we will move those control bones on the face. And this guy will need to move this guy and this guy too. So we will start to add some constraints. We stay in pose mode and then we start by adding constraints to the face bones. So we need these bones to stretch when we move these control bones. That's why we will add a stretch to constraint. To add a stretch constraint to this bone that will be controlled with this bone, you need to select the control bone and then shift select your deform bone. So the guy you add the constraint to should be selected last and then you hit Control shift c and stretch to. If we test our animation, if we move this bone now, you see that it is indeed stretching to our control bone. Nice. We repeat this step here. So we select this guy, shift select here, control shift C, stretch to. We repeat it again here and we repeat it again here. Very nice. And now if we test our animation, you see that it is moving very nicely. Let's try to rotate this guy now and you see there's a problem this point here or this ball here shouldn't stay in that place so i guess we need some parenting here so we go to edit mode and we select this guy and then we select this guy the head bone Control p make parents and keep offset and now back to pose mode we try to rotate it again and it works fine and the stretching looks works fine too and this bone is fixed in its place now as we said, we want not only these two bones, but this guy too, to follow this guy. So we add another constraint and that will be a, f a copy location. We want this guy to change location every time this bone moves. So to add a constraint to this bone, we select first the control bone and then shift select the control the bone. Control shift C, copy location. And you see that this mess happens, we change to local space. 
to fix everything already if we move but you see it is moving in opposite direction and that's because this bone is looking up while this one is looking down so i think we need only the x and the y the local x and y while x is the same local and global the z global is coincides with the y we will invert these locations and since we want it to go slower than these two we want to change the influence to 0.5 and now if you move this guy you see that's the other bone moves correctly but slowly slower than the others you can also have it go slow only on the z axis but not on the x axis and that will be done by adding another constraint so again if you select and select and add another location copy location constraint keep one for the or keep this for the y or the z axis and change this to have only the x of course in local space so keep the y on uh, 0 0.5 keep the x on 1 so that's when you move this boy it moves faster on the x-axis and slower on the y-axis this is up to you you can have one driver or two drivers you can have any speed you want depending on your character and on your preferences personal preferences now we will add another constraint for this guy so select this and then this and then Control shift c and then copy location and then we change to local space again and we will need the x and the y again and we test it you see that it moves correctly and nicely but we want the x to be inverted so we invert the x we test again we have too much speed so we change this to 0 0.5 and voila this is what we need now for the nose the nose is already parented to this guy and it is moving correctly you can you can keep it like this but i want to have him move faster than the other bones and go faster to the center so in addition to parenting movement i will add another movement with a constraint to give it more speed so copy location local space and we will only need the x and one maybe is too much so we change this to 0 0.5 and we still have this bone moving faster than the others so i think we have finished our structure all we need now is a little bit of magic and that magic will happen thanks to this bone to the driver bone what we will need to our rig to do is when we move this bone and it went to a certain position like here for example we want the head suddenly all these bones to flip to the other side and then we want the guy to continue his movement to the other side it means that this bone will move here the head will flip and then this bone will change direction and go on the other side but because the bones are, are flipped it will appear that it is continuing on its track and the head is turning to the other side so the first thing we need is let's hit alt g to get the bone to its initial position we want this guy to, rot to rotate 180 degrees in the z axis you can test it here r for rotate and then z and then 180 and you see that the head flips very nice we want this flip to occur automatically just look at this value with me the location x when we move this bone we want it to go here 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 here, here maybe to this position to zero 0.02 and in this position we want the head bone to flip to the other side so we do that with a driver we select this bone and look for the x rotation here we have w and all this this stuff i don't understand so we will change this mode to xyz to have something yeah that we normal people can understand so we change we will check which is the z location the the, the local z for this bone so we hit r z and try to rotate and check these values you see that the y the local y is the global z so what we want to change is the y and we add a driver here add driver very nice now here in the object we select our meta rig and the bone that we control this is the head turn driver it is our magical bone here so if we move our bone now you see that our head bone is moving let's check again our driver closely select the head bone right click edit driver the type is x location so when our driver bone moves in the x location the head bone will move on the y axis and this is it this is where we added our driver again at the driver we want the space to be local space and you can see that it's moving but we need to make an automatic flipping and that can be done by writing an expression here so i will just cheat and copy the expression that i made after a lot of 
trial and error and that I don't remember. So edit driver here and copy this value here and get it to our bone. So right click edit driver and type in this value here. So the expression says the value of the Y rotation will be 3.14 and that is P if var is greater than 0.02 var is the x location of our driver bone so if the x location of our driver bone is greater than 0.02 the rotation of the head bone will be 314 this is supposed to be 180 degrees so first i typed in here 180 but i got some weird degrees here so if you move this guy now and select this guy you see that it is 1000 degrees so after a few calculations, I found that the number that should be written here is uh, 314 or you can add a 2 to make it uh, more precise. So this is it. So let's get it back to its initial position, Alt G. And now we want to add a driver here so that this bone can control its X axis. We should add a driver here, I guess, to X location. So add a driver, select our metaric, select our driver bone x location again and local space so now when we move this guy our bone will move with it so we see when we move we go here the head bone turns and it looks like the control bone or the head turn control bone is going backwards it's not going backwards actually it is just continuing its track but because the head bone is flipped it looks this way but now we want it to just at the moment that the head bone flips it changes course so for this purpose we will add another expression we will just cheat again and copy it from here edit driver copy this expression edit driver and paste so what this expression says if var and that is the x location of the driver bone is greater than 0.02 then var will be turned to a negative value plus 0.03 this value here i got after some testing but you can test your own values and see what you get or else var will be just var so why the x location here is less than 0.02 the location will be just normal but when it hits 0.2 the x location of this bone will turn to a negative value and it will start moving in the other direction you see while it is moving in the opposite direction now it seems that it's just following our driver bone so this is it this was the magic the expression is here you can cheat too and copy it but these values you can change depending on your character and maybe your preferences what we need to do we just need to add some bendy bones to these guys let's go here let's change the display to b bones and then select this bone and add five segments and then we select these three bones lastly we select the bone with the segments and then right click here copy to select it and here we have our bendy bones oh i guess there's one more thing to do is to add another copy location here so that when this guy moves in the z location this guy follows it so select this guy shift select Control shift c copy location and uh, <laughs> yes let's fix this mess local space local space and i guess the local z is still y so only this and then we test yes it is working fine let's go back to octahedral and i guess now we are done but before generating our uh, rigify rig we need to fix some rigify types so let's select this bone first here we have a chain of bones going from here to here so select this bone and go to rigify here and change this to let's just type chain basic copy chain these guys won't control any other bones they will just deform this this part of the face so we remove control here and keep only the form for these control bones we will have them to control these bones but not to deform anything and i don't want a widget for this voice so here too no widget only control and the type is basic super copy nice no widget for the nose we want a pivot we want control and we want it also to deform the nose we will have weight painting for the nose connected to this bone so we will have the form and also control let's hit the form here the form here we will have a pivot as a widget and again super basic copy for the right ear the same we will have control and the form and a widget this guy will have control it is optional actually you can have it to control you can have it with a widget or not for this one it won't have no deform and also no control 
and no widgets because all the features of this bone were co copied to the driver bone and with the magic of the drivers of course we don't need to see this bone at all and for this bone we only need control and a widget will be a pivot and for this last bone yeah we don't need to see this bone at all so i think this is it now we can go to object mode with our rig selected and go here and then we do generate rig and here we have our new rig let's hide our original rig and now we will do the parenting we select the body we select our rig we do Control p parent with empty groups and it is time to do weight painting we select our armature again we go to here this layer contains the deformed bones all the bones that deform the strokes or the mesh are contained in this layer and we want now to see the names of the bones and now we can select our rig and we can go to weight painting mode as you can see we still have our old weight painting only the head painting will need to change and these the right ear vertex group all these groups are new groups for the new bones we added so let's enable I don't know why, why the menu is not showing here. Let's go here and enable auto lock inactive layers. It is already enabled, and we will select the bow, the face layer, and you see that it was unlocked, and all the others are locked. And here we go again to our vertex groups and to the head. The head now should only control the upper part of the the head circle. So first, while selecting this face we will remove the painting from the lower part because it will be controlled by the face bones so we change weight to zero and then we i don't know i should see a circle here i should see set f i should see the radius of my brush here let's go to object mode and back to weight paint yes i can see it now so let's unpaint this part to the beginning of this bone and to here nice and now we should unpaint all the ears the cheeks and everything so let's select the um, the right ear layer it is unlocked now and unlock the left ear unlock the hair unlock the eyes notice that the eyes are the outer eyes only and not the pupils unlock the nose and the cheeks the mouth the face yes so all these we will unpaint. Let's unzoom to make our unpainting faster. And this is it. And now we go to the right ear vertex group and we select the right ear layer. Make sure everything else is locked and we can paint it all red. Of course we need to change the weight to 1. Let's paint it all red. And then to the sky here, the left ear, cheeks, eyes and hair vertex group so here we will unlock the left ear layer the cheeks layer the eyes layer and the hair layer so all these layers will be deformed by this bone so let's start painting here nice the cheeks the eyes the left ear and the hair next we go to the nose we select the nose layer and then we go to the face here we have four bones that control the lower face so we zoom in here and we select our face layer and we start painting nice So I think our painting is done. Let's go to object mode, let's select our rig, let's choose our control layer now that contains our control bones and go to pose mode and now we can test our bones. So if we hit R here we can rotate the head, we can rotate the spine too with R and we have this beautiful movement and of course our king bone here. The magical bone so we hit g and we should be moving the hair like this but why is it doing this why isn't it flipping that's because when we generated our rigify rig the driver for the head bone weren't copied to the control bone so if you go here to uh, this layer where we can see the original bones and select the head bone the driver is here so just copy it so pass driver here and now go back to this layer select the bone and delete the driver from here 
and voila it's a very simple step but if we had it in the original meta rig without the need of doing this that would have been better of course so if you know a way to have that just let me know so now G and we have our flip the head is flipping boys look at this beauty look at the, the right ear how it is going like a sunrise and then like a sunset and coming back look at the nose how it is moving faster than the rest and going to the center and then we have this flip it is indeed beautiful there is something beautiful also with this rig is that if we rotate this bone and then we do the trick here you see that the rotation will flip and the boy will look up from this side and then up again from this side but if we let's hit alt r if we rotate from this bone the neck bone or any body bone like this and then we do the flip g and move you see that the rotation of the head stays so here it's looking up and here he's looking down so depending on what you want your character to do you can use either the rotation of this bone or this bone or maybe a combination of the two just select everything and hit alt r alt g yes and everything can move independently the ear you can adjust your stuff if you want the mouth you can adjust its place this guy we could have made it invisible but we still can move these guys like this independently this could be a nice feature and even here you can make adjustments so if you rotate with this guy and you're not satisfied with some movement like here for example you want to adjust you can do that here and there is something even more wonderful about this rig a wonderful trick that i won't show you here but in a separate video so stay tuned if you are not subscribed subscribe please if uh, you can get of course the this model for free from gumroad and if you want to give me a tip for it and for this tutorial and for all the struggle to uh, keep this channel up please do thanks for watching and remember to check the next video for some very beautiful trick about this rig see you later and peace brothers